Hi everybody, I thought I would hop on here and do a quick little casual house tour update. Um, I had initially been thinking that I was going to wait until each room was done and then do one room at a time, kind of. Um, which I still think I'm going to do, but uh, that might be a while. And some people were asking about updates over on Instagram. So, first of all, yeah. It occurred to me as I was walking through the house the other day that um, things sometimes have to get worse before they get better. And I don't think the house will really look any worse than it does right now. So I thought we should do a tour at this, the low point, so that when we reach the height of how this house can look, we get a more exciting before and after than we ever imagined. So let me show you what's going on. All right, so we'll check that out. Um, the porch is being entirely rebuilt. Um, two big lessons here, not really lessons, maybe I sort of knew this already, but maybe maybe this will be helpful to you. Um, two things, one, just because it looks good doesn't mean that it is good. So when I posted pictures at the house before, everyone's like, ooh, that porch is so beautiful. And it was until you look up close and realize that the, the porch was sort of poorly constructed to begin with, and then it was rotting away at some point, so they just built another roof on top of it. So it was all kind of slopey and not very stable. So that brings us to item number two. I am a DIYer, I love to do things myself. Um, my parents are also great DIY people, and so they, my dad specifically, has been helping on a lot of things with, um, with the house. Um, however, there are times to bring in a professional to get things done right. So there have been certain projects throughout the house over the last couple of months that um, we have brought in a contractor, Mike, and um, his uh, builder, Miguel, and his team. And they have been here at the house doing a lot of things, and the porch is one of those things. So everything is covered in a tarp now. It's been raining here like crazy, which is why they did it this way. Um, what you can see right there, the house used to be green. Currently there is vinyl siding that is over that, which at some point will get removed, um, and I'll redo the entire outside of the house, but kind of love that green. So that was a happy find. Um, also, they are gonna be lowering the pitch of the porch roof just slightly so that um, before the roof came right up under this little thing right here, I don't know what that's called, they are gonna lower it a little bit so it comes below that green old siding and um, therefore it will make this section over here look a little bit more balanced and symmetrical, which is awesome. Part of what was tricky about the way that they did this is that we wanted to keep this ceiling intact here. Um, so they had to build a false wall through here to support it and then build the actual structure and then jack this up so you can see how much they raised it. That's how it used to be and that's how it is now. And so it's all nice and flat and level across the top, which is much better. The other big sort of learning thing with this house, it's been really fun to peel back layers and to see the kind of work that was done on the house over time and the styles. And you know, when we talk about, ooh, what's, what's original? Like this has had many things like that went in 50 years ago, maybe that are not original to the house. So there's sort of a question of with historic things like like I, I think this 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 up here, don't think that was original to the house. So it's cool and it's old, but like, is it what the original builder intended? No. However, I think we really have discovered that uh, the house didn't have a porch originally. So I want a porch. Um, I think the house looks good with the porch, but uh, we're gonna try to make it feel a little bit more like the original vibe of the house, but making some changes, right? Let's go on inside. So there's wood everywhere to finish the porch. This is all gonna be porch wood too. Everything in the front of the house here really hasn't been touched. I've just moved in my stuff. Um, I have a current project happening there now. So there's just crap everywhere. Over here in the guest room, this is the storage room for everything. Um, there is tile everywhere. Um, I have sourced almost all of the tile for the house at this point from various places. And so that is sitting in boxes all around everywhere. 
This is the master bedroom right now. Again, more wood for the porch. This is um, pieces that were pulled off that are going back up. Those are the kitchen cabinets or what we can save of the kitchen cabinets. Um, check out the tile here. Each bathroom is gonna have a different mosaic tile floor. So that is gonna go in the new guest bathroom, master bathroom, uh, half bathroom. Again, more crap everywhere. Um, tile, so subway tile, kitchens and bathrooms are all gonna have this basic white subway tile. I got this at a liquidation center. There are 34 boxes spread throughout the house. Okay, so this has been the next really big project here. Um, let's actually jump to the back of the house for a second. All right, so one of the really big structural issues that was happening, see how this kind of slopes down here, that being the low point? That was creating a flood of water falling from that corner right onto that deck. So we've removed a lot of the decking boards there. Some of them have been, been put back just for now. Um, also, it just rains so they're wet. They don't really look that bad. However, all through this wall right here um, had been major, major moisture issues, which was causing termite damage. So everything was kind of sagging and falling apart there, which was causing this door to um, not function very properly. So this is a new door. It looks just like the old door, but it is a new door. Um, we switched which door opens, which is gonna work better for the function of the room. Um, and they repaired this wall for now. And um, my dad and I put in these temporary gutters, lovely gutters that will um, drain the water so that it's not at that um, coming right down at that low point. Eventually better gutters will go on, but for now that's just gonna pre prevent water from going right into that trouble spot. While we are back here, you can check out my little pond. There are a couple of frogs in there that sound just like goats, which is kind of funny. Um, I thought we would head back to the shed and you can see what's going on there since we didn't check that out last time. Check it out. So it is completely full of various kinds of wood and siding. Whatever we could save, we did save. Um, and we have some cool plans with that to build a carport and I have a plan for a range hood. One of the things that's been kind of interesting about working with the construction crew um, in that kind of situation, time is money. And so there's been a lot of like saw it off and throw it out and everything goes in the dumpster and they put up new stuff. Um, however, um, we've done a lot of the demo ourselves, myself and my parents, and as we've done that, anything that is good or savable, we have saved. And even when the crew is here, anything that we feel is, is, is okay, we try to pull the nails out of it and try to store it so that we can use it for something else. It's just, you know, it makes me sad to see good materials go to waste. And honestly, any place that I can save money at this point is a good thing so yeah it's it's worth it to spend a little extra time sometimes to to prep those materials and store them yourself and to make something cool out of them afterward so this fire pit was here in the backyard before um we pulled all of these bricks out of the kitchen ceiling um there's actually a lot more back behind the shed uh, there's kind of sitting here for now for storage but eventually we'll build a better wall here to finish out the fire pit Again, the landscaping here in the backyard is just beautiful. Um, we learned from the woman that lives across the street that the person that used to own this house was a landscape architect. So it makes sense that we have a lot of cool plants and a lot of those um, amazing pond features. So hopefully at some point we'll be able to bring those back to life fully. And now we're back inside, back to the massive project in the back of the house. So you can see where that whole wall has been replaced over here. Uh, again, with the new door, there's new wiring going in. All of this floor was also replaced. So the porch used to be built out to about here and went up that way. Um, they had just built out straight from the porch, which was probably a questionable way to construct it to begin with. But then again, there was termite damage all down through here and coming down through the floor. So all of the floor joists came out, uh, new flooring went back down in this area as well, the bathroom. So let me show you what's going on here. Um, hello, this is probably the biggest change so far. We did frame out these walls um, and move the door. So you remember the door used to be back here. It's jumped forward now. Um, this has been enclosed to be its own bathroom. So quick little layout thing here, shower, 
tub combos going here. There's gonna be a little like dead space slash cabinet space that's just gonna bump this out a little bit. We found this awesome piece at Goodwill that's gonna be our little vanity. Medicine cabinet's gonna go in the wall there. This is just gonna be a little half wall. It's not gonna come out that far. Toilet's gonna go back behind. And then here behind the door is gonna be the washer dryer hookup. So it's taken us a while to arrive at a layout that we feel is gonna work, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So this has probably been the most massive undertaking so far. Look at that ceiling. So you may remember the ceiling used to come up to this line before they had dropped the ceiling at some point and they had just busted holes in the wall up here to run wiring through. So we tore out the old ceiling entirely and have raised the ceiling almost three feet. Um, again, this was another one that we had the crew come in to be put in this beautiful wood tongue and groove ceiling that is very dirty at the moment, but it is um, gonna be beautiful. Um, plaster so we're gonna run tile all the way up the wall um up until like the picture rail height that is in some of the other rooms above that you're gonna see the exposed plaster and then this wall over here is gonna be entirely plaster uh we are in the process of patching and repairing the plaster um which is a rather intense process so i've been dropping little um previews on instagram and someone asked me why we're doing plaster and not just doing drywall everywhere um to repair the plaster is going to be a lot, but it's quite a bit more minimal than tearing out all of it. The plaster is just like sand, so it's, it makes a hell of a mess. Um, not that, I mean, we, we've clearly had a hell of a mess in this room already, um, but it just would be a massive undertaking to take out all the plaster, plus an expense of putting in drywall. Um, that would be something that we would hire someone to do and it's just it's just not worth it expense wise to do that So we're gonna repair the plaster and uh, And see how that goes These are some very basic kitchen cabinets that I purchased at Home Depot. These are like the basic unfinished cabinets They have been primed. I primed them earlier this week So they're not actually gonna be this color. This is a tinted primer. So they're gonna go quite a bit darker I also primed the sides these are made of a, like a really cheap kind of particle board situation. So we wanted to sort of block out any moisture as much as possible. So I think a, a couple coats of primer is gonna help with that. For the layout here, um, there's gonna be a little cabinet that comes out this way. Range will go there. Corner cabinet coming across. The sink is going here. Um, a few more cabinets and then the refrigerator is gonna go back in the corner. You can see kind of where that's taped out. Um, there'll be a little floating island sort of in the center. Um, sconces are going in on the walls. Can lights will go in on the ceiling. It's going to be a pretty massive change, which is exciting. And then finally here we have our little half bath. So, um, scraped off all the lovely painting on the window. Um, the, you can see this is a place where there was termite damage. This whole subfloor was rotting out a little bit. So those boards will be replaced. Um, additional layer of floor will go on top, cement board will go on top of that, tile will go up on top of that, so that's quite a process. Um, I have a little sink here that's going to hang on the wall, um, it's kind of like a garden bowl sink situation. So the sink used to be on this wall, but it was a little strange, I think with the sink that we have it would have to go too low underneath this window and there would be no mirror above it, which is kind of strange, so we're actually going to flip this room put the sink on this wall with a mirror and put a toilet coming out of this wall. We've sourced the shallowest toilet that we can find. Um, Cause you remember this space is, is quite small and they had the toilet on an angle before. So we're gonna straighten out the toilet, but keep it really short so that uh, we can kind of make this room flow a little bit better. And I think that's just about it for now. So um, thanks for going on the tour with me. Hopefully you guys enjoy the update. Um, I will continue posting little snippets over on Instagram and then when I start finishing up some of these rooms um, I will share that here as well. So um, I hope you guys will like and subscribe and come back for that kind of content. See you soon.